This video is a demonstration on how to use the editor utility widget I've created for Unreal Engine that lets you automatically assign textures to materials in your world instantly. You can do this with one material at a time or you can even do a couple hundred at a time as well. This widget was created to work best with textures exported from Substance Painter. So that's what the process I'm going to show is. We want to start in Substance Painter here at a stage where we've finished our texturing and we would like to export the textures. We just want to head up to our export textures section and the main thing we need to make sure here is that Unreal Engine 4 Packed is the template we use. So you find that near the bottom here, Unreal Engine 4 Packed. Select that and then choose an output directory and export your textures. Before we import our textures and models into Unreal Engine, we want to make sure we've got the material widget in there ready to go. You'll find a link to the widget download on Google Drive in the description below. Download this and extract the zip file. And we will want to place this folder here that has all the assets in it inside our project directory of our Unreal project. The easiest way to find that is to head to your Unreal project Look in the bottom left of your content browser, right click on content and go show in Explorer. You can either put it in here or put it in its own folder, completely up to you. I'm just going to copy and paste directly into here. We'll see that pop up now inside my content browser. You should have a folder called auto mat widget. Inside will be the widget itself, a couple default textures, and then a master material that you can use by default. I'm now ready to import my models and textures. I'm gonna go back to content, create a new folder, name it something relevant to my model. I'm gonna call it house model. Inside here, I'm gonna go import and find my textures. I have my textures and my model in the same file here. As you can see down here, there's an FBX. So I can grab them all at the same time. It'll just do them separately. We should get FBX import options as all my textures import off to the right here. The biggest important option we want to look for here is create new instance materials. By default, this will be on create new materials. You want to make sure it's on create new instance materials. We want to make instances of in the base material name here, the master material, which the one I've given you is M underscore auto master. Click that, click import all. And we should now see all our texture files here a bunch of spheres, which is our material instances, and then the model itself down the bottom. I'm just gonna chuck my model into the scene so I can see the textures get applied automatically when we run the widget in a second. We're now ready to run the widget. If I just head back to my content, into my auto material widget folder, and I'm looking for this one here, the editor utility widget auto text to mat. To run it, you actually need to right click on it, up the top, look for run editor utility widget. Click that and you should see a little widget open up. You might need to resize it so it looks uh, large enough. Here we shouldn't need to change any settings if we've just come from Substance Painter and we're looking to just use all the defaults that I've given you. The only thing we need to change here is the name of the folder where my textures and my models are. So in my case, it's house model. So I wanna look for this section here in the little green and I'm gonna rename this folder name to house model. After that, it's pretty much ready to go. Now, one important step here, which we haven't done yet, is just before we click the big button, just above it, you'll see the little warning, save all newly imported texture assets before pressing. This is super important because otherwise this widget will not be able to find your textures if you haven't saved them. So before we click the button, head up to file, save all, and we should see that now it's actually placing them inside to our project and it's saving them, it should have access to them. Everything else should be ready to go. I'm now ready to click Auto Texture Assignment. And as you'll see, pretty instantly, all my textures have applied. You'll get this kind of flashing saving package thing pop up. That just makes sure that after it's changed, it does save them so that you won't lose them when you open up your project again. From here, you can kind of check it out, make sure there's no errors. But if you even look in the house model here, all the materials, all the little spheres here should have textures assigned to them. If I open up one of the instances, we can even see that it has ticked these, changed them, and put in the correct maps here. This also does work with emissive. I don't have any emissive on this object, but you can use it for that. 
Just want to quickly run through the other settings here in case you need to do any troubleshooting or you want to customize using this little widget. The top here we have master material. So by default, it's the one that I've given you M underscore auto master. Sometimes this doesn't seem to default. So you might need to even pick it before you run this. If you want to customize and create your own master material, all you have to be aware of is that you need parameters in here, right? So I have my base color parameter here, ORM parameter, emissive parameter, and normal parameter. So if you have other maps or different names, you will have to just either make sure they're the same here or after you created new ones, change them here. So the material parameter names you can see line up perfectly with what I had inside the master material. The folder name we've already looked at, skip completed materials. This will speed up a little bit. Essentially what it does is if we tick this, when the widget runs, it kind of tags anything that it has changed. So if we tick that, it's going to ignore any of the materials that have already had some sort of automatic assignment. Save delay here. This is that flashing little save stuff that we have right at the end. It's on a bit of a delay because if it tries to do it at the same tick, it will crash Unreal. So if you find you click this stuff and it crashes, increase this, so this is in seconds, so just put it up to like five or 10 seconds, and you'll just have to wait a little bit longer before it saves the files after you run it. Texture map suffix refers here to the suffix of the textures. So if I just hover over any of these textures I have, you can see this one is underscore base color. This one is underscore normal. The ORMs are underscore occlusion roughness metallic. And those names here are assigned exactly the same. So if you do use a different texture export out of something like Substance, you might need to adjust these because what it's looking for here is it searches for these names and then it assigns. Technically, with that knowledge, you can actually do different ass assigns here. So instead of a packed ORM map, you would be able to change this to like just roughness. And then you just have to change this one down here to just roughness as well. Be aware the roughness is a unique one or the ORMs because this map here and the one that assigns here will tag them as linear color. So it will change the files. So if you have like different base color, that's fine. You can change there. But if you've got metallic roughness, any linear color map, you'll need to use this one only. And you can run it a few times. Awesome. That should be it. Hopefully it all works for you. Hopefully I don't need to update it again. Um, and good luck using it.